Welcome back to Silas University. Oh. Bet you're surprised to find us here after that whole fleeing thing. Or at least surprised to see you making another video instead of snuggling up with your nice, warm... Lady Killer recording the PG-13 version of our happy ending here. PG-13, how incredibly dull. Update now, smooching later. Anyway, turns out escaping Austria across the Alps, not as easy as the sound of music made it out to be. Between the moving chasms and the freakball blizzards and the Styrian villagers with torches and pitchforks, we were forced to return to campus, but only until we can get back to the library and research up Escape Plan 2.0. In the meantime, we get to enjoy these swish new digs, which Carm just scored by saying some spectacularly violent things to the psychology TAs who were squatting here. But Laura, you say, wasn't there some business with an evil dean? and a light demon that demanded a sacrifice with a very hard to pronounce name that Carmilla heroically slew, which turned out to be less a light demon and more the shiny lure on the forehead of a very enormous and now very angry anglerfish god rising from the caverns below the theater building to devour the campus? Well, yes. Thing is, the anglerfish god is rather big and uh, the crater where the lustic used to be is rather small, and so it kind of got stuck. Which means that the campus is saved. Sort of. <laughs> what? So I'm heroic, huh? When you're not threatening to vivisect graduate students. Well, you'd think if I was some noble warrior goddess that I'd be entitled to a little more adoration from my wide-eyed maiden fair. You are unbelievable. I guess I should just be happy you haven't found some brand new crusade to be on. We've been here for, like, an hour. What kind of trouble do you think I could possibly get into? Oh, I have all kinds of thoughts about that. Hey guys, so the library's no-go. Nobody's been able to get in for days. Uh, Pear's gone to see if anybody at the student paper knows what's going on, which means that I get a break from the what pronouns do we use if interrogations. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. Excellent. Leave now. Lock the door. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Vampire seductress here is just crabby because I'm not falling for her 17th century idea of game. Mm. Sure. But more important than your twisted courtship ritual is how did you find this place? It's amazing. There's a hot tub in her bathroom and... Yeah? Like half the rooms have secret passages, which we should probably board the hell up, but still pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Do we know who used to live here? Oh, um, I'm sure it was no one important. Probably just fellowship scholars or visiting professors. Lucky bastards. Come on, you've got to see the big screen in a room. We've got JP on the smart TV. No, that's okay. I'm just going to finish up the video here. Finish up the video. Sure. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Is that really what you think I was doing? What? Using my romantic wiles to take advantage of you? No! No, that was just a joke. I mean, is it a little intimidating to know that you have, like, centuries of experience as this professional despoiler of virtue? Well, yeah. <laughs> And I did have a front row seat to last semester's cavalcade of study buddies, but mm. you changed. What you did for me, for all of us, you took on your mother, you took on a god. <laughs> and maybe I am just some 19 year old girl who only passed her lit class on a vampire fighting technicality, but I still know how this story goes. Good is triumphant and evil is vanquished. And once all of the monsters are chased away, our hero leans in for her 
very much non-PG kiss and everything fades to Perry? See that subscribe button? You should click it.